All right, everybody, welcome to, shall we call it, Jurassic Park Simulator. At least that is what this game aspires to do. This game is called Mesozoica. Now, today I'm going to be playing the demo. Now, this game was kickstarted back in 2015. They've updated it recently and said this game will come out in 2017. So I'm expecting some big things to be happening over the course of the next couple months with this game. I did want to check it out. Now keep in mind, this is a free to play demo. Oh yeah, hey Bear, it's free to play. Yep, link is in the video description. <laughs> Choking on dinosaurs, look at this Tic Tac. These are our first our first guests in the park. Okay, so you what, what you may notice is, look at this giant area. You can pretty much build anything in it. Oh my gosh, how are we? I would like a mini map, because if I, okay, there's my Tic Tacs. They're like, well, there's nothing here. I'm leaving. Okay, so now let's see. We can start with, I guess, we're going to have to expand the path, right? So let's just do this. There's this nice, like, drag mechanic. So I guess I could kind of go like this way and then curve this way and then curve this way and kind of circle back. Let's see, where's the, I think it's like, I think it's here. Aha, look at that, that's nice, huh? All right, so that is the beginning of the park. You can see some people on the top left, these little Tic Tacs represent guests to our park. So the whole concept of this game is to build a dinosaur park to attract people, right? So currently we can make a small hatchery, the place where your dinosaurs will be born, treated well. All right, so let's do that, oh my. This thing looks like uh, the raptor cage from Jurassic Park. Now, where do we want to put this, huh? Well, let's see. Fences. Low security fence. Let's do that. Oh, this is going to be weird. Can I drag? Okay, I can drag. Nice. I like this. It's pretty intuitive and relatively easy to manage. Um, now, remember, this is what? I guess you could call it a... I'm going to call it a tech demo. Just to kind of show off... What you can do in the game okay so we've got our first cage let's go ahead and get this let's go to the dinosaur we'll get a small hatchery now i think i have to put it inside the cage um and we can experiment a little more now where would i want it yeah see like it's kind of gaudy and big and it breaks the immersion like it, it, it i would like my people to come in here and be like oh look it's a dinosaurs you know but then you see this giant building right you're like, well, what is that? Is this where dinosaurs come from? But anyway, oh, so it looks like there's two cages. Okay, so now I'm assuming if we click on it, we can make dinosaurs. Okay. No. Oh man, we only have herbivores right now. Now, we cannot build... We can't build. We cannot uh, produce. Look at this. It's Harambe Park. We're in Harambe Park. I want to... Harambe make Harambe face. Now, I don't think I can change that to Toast Park or anything like that to you toast fans out there triceratops horridus well let's wow these things are expensive stegosaurus is almost 10,000 euros good lord all right so stegosaurus um breeding time 75 seconds a little over a minute length nine meters lifespan of 60 years the stegosaurus is a type of armored dinosaur 155 to 150 million years ago all right well we're gonna purchase one Okay, so one out of 50, it looks like we've got 230,000 euros just under that. Now, I think small hatchery, we can only produce five dinosaurs in it. Unfortunately, we're limited to how many we can have. I wanna build another, and then I'm gonna have a giant one. Actually, first, let's go ahead and, and get our paths. I think I just kinda got inspired to like make a giant park. All right, so we're we're gonna we're gonna have a huge section here. Now I gotta zoom out. All right, I think. Oh wow, that actually worked out a lot better than I thought. Okay, so we could have three areas of dinosaurs right now. Now let's see, when is this thing gonna come out? He's thirty nine percent done. I don't want to miss it, so I'm gonna stay close to it. All right, herbivore feeder. I guess we will want one of those, right? And we'll put it right here because if the feeder's at the front, that means our our guests will be able to see, you know, the dinosaurs feeding right in front of the cage. 
Oh, that's CNN. All right, we're we're seventy one percent complete until we get our first dinosaur, which is the Stegosaurus, the most expensive of them all. You can see this one's very cheap, and um, but oh man, that thing looks like a, a Velociraptor. That thing looks carnivorous. Okay, we're at ninety five percent completion. Let's zoom in. Now, it, it it does open, and a dinosaur comes out. Look at this. Welcome to Jurassic Park. And here's my, my Tic Tacs in the background. They're not stopping to watch. Do you not see how majestic this is? This is our first dinosaur. Now, I, I'm pretty sure you can take control. Yes, you can. Okay. Current health of 100%. Rarity. This thing is epic. He's walking. He's a herbivore. Aggression is assertive. He will let you know. All right. So, if I left click, they should roar. Listen. <laughs> and you can take basic control of the dinosaur. Um, now, like I said, this is a tech demo. Okay, so to get out, yeah, you just press escape. Okay, now let's build our second dinosaur cage area. Um, I'm going to put the fences up first. I feel like that kind of goes without saying. You want to protect your people. Um, I guess I could keep it like that, right? All right, now let's let's start this section. This is going to be a huge area, but I want to get the fences up first. Now I want like you got. Did you guys ever play Roller Coaster Tycoon Two? Like I know there's so many roller to roller toasters, roller coaster tycoon games, but I really feel like Roller Coaster Tycoon Two was like the best one. Okay, so these seem to be similar in size. Let's see what other buildings we have. So we got buildings. We got dinosaurs, you got basic, very, very basic at the current moment. We have a hamburger kiosk? We gotta build one of these. We gotta give our people some food. I'm gonna put it at the far side of the park. Look at that. So now they can walk there. Oh, I think when you're building, the game is paused. The Tic Tacs stop walking. Interesting. So we've got 35 people in our park, only one dinosaur currently. Let's see, what else can we do? Um... I want to I want to have I want to have more dinosaurs, right? So let's go with a Let's go with a Mysosaurus plebosaurum. And we'll purchase him. Mysosaurus means good mother lizard, and this creature certainly earns that name. Fossil evidence suggests that Mysosaurus cared for its young by protecting them and feeding them in the nest. They lack any type of protection other than two small horns on their head that appear to show no offensive capabilities. So Mesosaur travel in large herds for safety in numbers against hungry predators. The first discoveries of this creature revolutionize the way we look at dinosaurs and how they care for their young and shall continue to amaze us for years to come. Look at that. He's from Montana. So is Far Cry 5. What do you guys think about that Far Cry 5? Look at that. We're 57% completed on that. So, eventually, what they're saying is that there's going to be 60 different species of dinosaur in the game, all with unique and different behaviors. You let visitors in and watch the wonders unravel. You have to make sure, you have to, make sure to keep everyone in your park safe. Dinosaurs, visitors, and staff. So, when we get carnivorous stuff, it'd be interesting to see if they could escape. And if so, let's go ahead and put a feeder. And we're going to put it here. Man, we're, we are slowly burning through money, i tell you that. Oh, look! Here he is! Mesosaurus! Alright, let's take control of him. And let's give him a roar. Ready? Listen closely. Eh! I mean, it's a pretty humble roar for... Look at this. This guy can get up and run, though. Oh, man. I, I want to I wanna play one of those games where I can ride the dinosaur and, like, have battles. All right. So we've got two dinosaurs in our park. We've got a Stegosaurus. We've got a Mesosaurus. Now, I think it's time to build, like, the huge area. Is that the front? Yeah, that is. Okay. Oh, can I? Oh, I can't put it flush. All right. So I want to do, like, two hatcheries in here. Maybe even, you know what, let's do three. They're pretty expensive, as you can see. But this is like the main event, right? So I'm going to get... We haven't gotten a Triceratops yet. Let's, let's purchase one of those. And we'll let this one go. 
And we... I don't have one of these guys. These things... Let's see. It looks a length of 9 meters? I thought this was going to be a small little raptor thing. Well, let's purchase it to see. And then we don't have any of the teeny little guys. He's foxy. See? 2.4 meters. Alright, so they do have some small... Oh, wait. I think I did the wrong thing. Did I not click on... One of these hatcheries is not running. Okay, so that's what it is. Let's get... We'll get a, st a stegosaurus in here. Alright, so let's put... We need to have feeders for it, obviously, right? Of course. Alright, now we don't want to spend too much money on feeders and stuff like that, right? I mean, this could be a tech demo. I'm wondering if they even have that in the game. But man, I just want to have T-Rex cages and raptors. See, these things definitely remind me of Jurassic Park, the 1996. That was the year it came out, right? So let's see. 40%, 71%, and 87%. So we're going to have dinosaurs popping out of these cages in a moment. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh, oh, here it is. It's opening. And... Triceratops. All right, so we haven't gotten to see that, so we're gonna take control. Let's hear a roar. Oh. That one's pretty good. That one is pretty good, okay. Oh, we got, we got, we got another, oh my god. This thing is huge. Therizinosaurus caliniformis. It's like, all right, let's, let's attack the Triceratops. La, la, la. <laughs> Listen to this. Oh, man, this is funny. Oh, dinosaur games. You gotta love them. Okay, so we've got a huge area. And there's Stegosaurus. So we've got quite a bit of dinosaurs. We've got, what, five dinosaurs, and we've got 55 people in our park. You think we need another burger stand? I'm not even sure if people really use it at this point. Um, but we've got three different areas. We got a small one, a, a little bit bigger than the small one, then we've got a, a medium sized one, I'll call it. Oh, we got. <gasps> Look at how small this thing is! Look at this thing! This is Hypsilophodon Foxy. Alright, rarity is poor, so there's obviously a lot. Let's hear it, ye let's hear it yell. <laughs> oh, this thing is adorable, it's like a cat! Oh, I can't click it again, alright. And this thing can get up to speed, it can hang out with the big boys. Dude, look at this. We're a dinosaur in Baron Von Jurassic Park. Welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna be saying that like a hundred times, get used to it. All right, so this Stegosaurus needs a mate. I almost picked a Triceratops, that would be very strange. So we'll get one of those. And then we'll get this guy, the Mamasaurus. We'll get you a mate. Now here, we're gonna have a variety of creatures. We're gonna buy a Mamasaurus. And then in the other cages, we're going to buy a Triceratops. And then we need another one of those big raptor things. It would be cool to see if they could procreate. So that, like, you could create a breeding center, like, outside of the purview of the park. And, well, I guess you kind of raise them from DNA, right? But after you have that research done, it would be pretty cool to, um, how would you say it? Kind of have an area where, like, you could create them naturally breed them naturally and then you wouldn't have to use DNA right so here's the entrance uh, we've got teleportation but I mean if we've got dinosaurs teleportation isn't too far out of you know the realm of possibility is it all right where's where's our next dinos 48% 76 percent so let's see what other buildings we can do we can do vegetation we can do trees let's put Wow, these trees, ooh, black ash, these are cheap. I'm gonna, oh, yeah. I'm gonna put them, like, on the... You can't place that here. Don't tell me how to live my life, game. I will put ash trees wherever I so please. Look at this. Dinosaurs. Mamasaurus. Mamasaurus Rex. Oh, yeah, look, it looks much better with the trees, doesn't it? Now we're down to 100,000. We had like 230,000. Once you start buying dinosaurs, good lord, does your money seem to evaporate. Where's the next one? That's a 0%. Here it is. It's Triceratops. Oh, yeah. And, and the raptor looking one. 
Well, I mean, it's he's raptor looking to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, look. They, this guy's laying down to sleep. They both are. They're hanging out. So, what do you guys think about this game? I think it has potential. In this tech demo, it is fun and it does give you a lot. I mean, it does give you a decent amount to do. But it's just like my imagination is just running wild with like all the possibilities and things that I would like to see in the game. So we've got... Wait, do we have another Mamasaurus? We've got two Mamasauruses, two Segasauruses. I thought for sure I would have built Mamasaurus. No Mamasaurus? Mamasaurus, where are you? Well, I guess we need a new Mamasaurus. Because everybody deserves to have a friend. And Mamasaurus is, is no different. Alright, so... Which one's making Mama Source? We can get these little guys. These little guys are cheap. So we're gonna produce two out of the other two. So we're gonna have like a variety of, of dinosaurs running around here. We'll have two. All right, and then this one should be on Mama Source Rex. I'm calling her Mama Source Rex, you know? You've gotta have nicknames for him. It makes it easy. Like this one's Foxy, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Raptor, Raptor Bird, and Mama Source. I like it. <clears throat> and I don't see them interacting with the feeders and the drink things right now, so that might just not be a feature. But this is cool. Um, and over time, you slowly gain money. It's very, very slow going. So I'm not sure how much I really want to, like, spend. Or rather, you know, I gotta figure out what I need. Rocks. Volcanic rock. A flat standstone. And we can do a lava rock. Oh. Here it is. Mamasaurus Rex. And, oh, we got little guys coming out. Look at the little guys. Look at the little guy and the raptor hanging out in the background there. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. I wonder if we could get in the cages. Oh, yeah. Look how cool this looks. They're hanging out together. They're like growing up. They're like, yo, what's up, new guy? Oh, see? They're like, hey, this is our turf. And he's eating there. He's like, you better get out. You better get out. So... Imagine when you have like, I mean, when I think about like something like Jurassic Park, you have these areas, but I would imagine like, what if you could have a huge giant field and you could have like Jeeps running around? So it wouldn't be, you know, you kind of get on and get off at certain areas, but like, then it's like the safari-like experience, right? I mean, that's a, that's a possibility, no? Oh, dinosaurs. Oh, oh, little guys coming out. That means Mamasauruses should be coming out soon. Oh, one just did. We got 38% till the next Mamasaur comes out. And it's populating, so we can't get any of the large herbivores. This seems to be like a small herbivore breeding center or production. Oh, we just got 100 people. We've got 19. So I guess what? Every time someone comes in, we get money? Let's see if that's the case. We're going to observe. All right, so we're at 72,000. I guess it slowly went up. 72,000. Yeah, every time a Tic Tac comes in, you get a little less than 100 euros. Is that, is that true? 72,712. We got people leaving. We got a lot of people leaving. Come on, Tic Tacs, come in. We're doing this for science here. Where's the new Tic Tacs? People are leaving. Oh. Yeah, so it is, it's, it's not too much. And I'm not sure if people are using the burger stands. Let's see. Are you, oh wait, he's going. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, look at that! Prehistoric barbecue burger. Dino DNA extra large burger. Oh, 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 whoopsies. Delicious in every way. Get your prehistoric barbecue burger right now. We've got Sprite machines. Um, it, I mean, it looked like Sprite bottles to me. What, what about you guys? Um, oh, there's Mamasaurus. Yeah, and we've got a little sunset going on here. So there's a, a rough day and night cycle happening in our game. So at this point, it seems, for the most part, we could obviously decorate. You know, with various trees and rocks. I like the shrubs. Pine tree. Where was the... Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Where was the fern? Oh, de it must be in decoration. A bush. A dead tree trunk. Let's give these guys... This is funny. They like, put a, like a dead tree trunk and they can like walk around it, I guess. 
Oh, man. Look at that. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Look at this guy. He looks like he's about to lay an egg. Hello, Baron. I'm, I'm taking a poo-poo. Oh, I love the I love the little foxy uh, noises that they make. It's so cute. Okay, so we got five, four dinosaurs in this pen, or we should. Oh man, they're so small you can barely see them, especially with the lighting currently. Um, and yeah, so they plan to implement a lot. I've seen some artwork, some sketches, and stuff like that, and some in-game renders of various structures. Uh, and dinosaurs that they plan to add. Let's see, should we get some more? I mean, yeah, so it's like we could build more, but I think for the most part, other than decorating it and making it fancier and nicer, I like ferns. Ferns make it feel like... But you can really blow through a lot of money adding in ferns. Yeah, look at that, man. We're gonna need a lot of people to come into the park, but uh, it, since there's no grass, since we've got this kind of tech demo, grid-like ground, you know, you gotta add a little bit of flavor to it, right? And I think that comes with ferns. Look at that, now, now it's a little bit better, right? A little bit better. You got the trees in the background. But anyway, guys, this is Mesozoica. It's a cool name. It's indicative of kind of like dinosaurs and like that period. I don't know how good of a name it is for a game though. Wow, look at how many Tic Tacs we have in this area. There are so many Tic Tacs. And there's no save feature right now. But given that there's not a lot to do in it, in this free-to-play demo, free-to-play tech demo, it seems like we've reached the limits of this. I'm going to be keeping my eye on it. If you'd like to see more or in the future when it's updated, you guys know what to do basically saying hey baron i like this let me know what happens in the future development and uh pulling the trigger on the like button so that we can buy more dinosaurs oh look at that everybody's hanging out here it almost looks like this guy's dead but he's like nope i'm just mommy mama source is taking a nap right here you know what mama source we're gonna we're gonna wake you up sorry yell for me he's he's not yelling right now all right so we'll, we'll get the stegosaurus stegosaurus had a pretty cool one right <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, Mesozoica. Let's 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 ro let's roar. <laughs> he's like a he's like an angry bird. Oh yeah. But anyway, guys. Thank you for watching our first episode of Mesozoica. Um, I'm gonna be keeping an eye on development, and like I said, you know, if you'd like to see more and you want me to keep an eye on development for you guys and make a video when there's updates, you know what to do. Thank you for watching two videos a day. I'll see you in the next one.